Jaden Daniels to LSU. Jaden Daniels, LSU. Wow. Uh, Arizona State transfer. Entered the transfer portal February 17th. Has accumulated over 7,300 total yards for Arizona State. He, uh, you know, was pounced upon by LSU. They needed a transfer quarterback. They were not settled at the quarterback position going into spring. They needed that fourth arm. I said as much on my Mark Rogers quarterbacks preview. As much as I delved into the to the to the for certain arms, for certain quarterbacks on roster, I also wanted to make sure that I made a mention that this was likely going to be possible. Whoever they could find, they were going to get a, another arm. And um, they made sure of that. And it was uh, the most high-quality quarterback they could find at this juncture, Jaden Daniels. Dual-threat quarterback, you know, I he rushed for over 1,000 yards during his three years at Arizona State as well. Remember, they only played four games during 2020's pandemic season. So basically just two two. And two seasons and almost not even a half of another season. So you got like two seasons and then 45% of, of another, basically, here. So, what I think about this move, and sorry for the having to do this on a rush, it's been quite a crazy weekend for the family. Welcoming in uh, a new child into the family. And uh, baby Geo, and uh, been walking this dog rivers all over the place. Been a crazy weekend. There's been heavy snow. The power's been out here. The power was out for almost uh, 15 hours while we were asleep, and then woke up to the power being out this morning. It was uh, pretty crazy with the snow as well, but. Here we are, and we we woke up to some great recruiting news and some, you know, some great uh, great great talks with some recruits who were at LSU, and we'll have that that uh, posted on LSUodyssey.com through the week. Um, so the, some of the info we found out, and uh, some of the reviews of LSU's recruiting weekend from the recruits themselves. But with Jaden Daniels, I. I think this is a smart move for LSU. It brings depth, experience, and a, a quarterback who does what Miles Brennan cannot escape, move, extend the play. We haven't seen Miles Brennan prove that he can do that on a Power 5 SEC stage. As I made sure to say, you know, Miles Brennan, he showed a lot with his passing potential. As I made sure to say on the quarterbacks preview and in our quarterbacks preview transfer piece, uh, not transfer, quarterbacks preview LSU Odyssey piece, uh, the writing as well, we made sure to, to give clear indications and props to Miles Brennan about his passing ability. But what Miles Brennan cannot do is run the football. He cannot escape the pocket. He cannot extend the play. That is something Jaden Daniels and his transfer provides. This is something that it was clear the move was going to be happening. It, it just became clear and clear. There was talk of him visiting Baton Rouge. I haven't gotten confirmation of that just yet, whether he was in Baton Rouge this weekend or prior. I, you know, in the days before, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he was there the second the dead period ended or when he was there or if he was there at all. I have heard that. I have not been able to confirm that he visited, but that's there's been some whispers of him visiting LSU or, or about to or, or whatever, but it doesn't matter now. He's committed now, and he's a tiger now. And so all the talk about having to court, pursue, uh, earn his commitment, we've, we've already done that. Jaden Daniels is an LSU Tiger. He will be eligible for spring. 
This is great news for LSU's quarterback depth. Okay, my, my, you know, as much as I'm a big fan of Walker, it seems like Walker Howard is set on redshirting his freshman season. So, you know, as much as I was kind of hoping for this Caleb Williams esque, uh, you know, go with Walker as a freshman, it seems like the plan is not for Walker just you know to start his freshman season. It seems like the plan is for Walker to to ride and and watch and uh, hone his abilities his freshman season, well, at least his redshirt freshman season. Garrett Nussmeyer is more uncertain where his future path lies. Now, Miles Brennan, <laughs> he's going to have true competition at the quarterback position for you know a quarterback race for the first time. You know, he he was going to have that race against Max Johnson this last year. And we all saw what happened with the elbow. So is this insurance in case, you know, Miles Brennan has another elbow accident? Could be. This could also be just great competition to push Miles Brennan or push Jaden Daniels. Whoever gets that job will be pushed to the, up, to the up, most ultimate. So what... Ever the outcome here. Now that we have Jaden Daniels on roster, this can only be a good thing for LSU. That's how I view it. This can only be a net positive for LSU. And that's what's been great about Brian Kelly, is his moves have been team first oriented. It's been about making sure the team is solidified. Not pampering someone's feelings. Making sure the stability of the team is paramount. And by bringing in Jaden Daniels, someone who does what Miles Brennan cannot do, someone who offers the team a true, experienced, dual-threat quarterback, that's something that's very attractive to me. And right now, already on the roster, he's, he's immediately the most experienced quarterback at LSU football. LSU just winning in the transfer portal again. We've got three more spots left, and I'm hearing that Tyler Steen, offensive lineman, is going to be next. That's something LSU Odyssey has been on since January 29th. You can see that on our article, LSU far from finished in the transfer portal. Tyler Steen has been courted heavily by Brad Davis and company, and um, it looks like he'll be the next domino next. LSU with three spots left, Tyler Steen will be the next, and then you got two spots to work with. LSU in a great position, working the transfer portal, and they're far from finished still. Still. I think, uh, I think these last few pieces to the puzzle will be even more interesting than, <laughs> than uh, what's come before. Uh, they never cease to, to surprise us right now, what Brian Kelly's been doing. It's it's very interesting, very intriguing. Um, the Jaden Daniels move, I want to hear what all of you have to think about it. You know, what does this do to Miles Brennan? Who's going to transfer, if anybody does? Who's going to win that starting job? I want to hear it from you in the comments section. Let's go!